What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about guides, rulers, and safe margins inside of Premiere Pro. These are tools when you're adding shapes and titles inside of your program monitor. It helps you with aligning them, snapping them into place, and making sure everything is even and proportionally correct. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoy seeing these videos and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Let's head up here to the program monitor. You'll see down at the bottom, I've added a few new items to my menu. We're gonna have safe margins, we have show rulers, we have show guides, and snap in program monitor. So you probably don't have them because they're not default. So head over here to the plus sign. It says button editor. Click on that and you're going to see a bunch of different new items that you can customize your menu bar here with. You can just grab and drag and drop them, but I already have that in, so I'm not going to. And then once you're all settled, you have all of them adjusted in the place you like, just click OK. I'm going to cancel that because I didn't do anything. The first one I would focus on real quick is the safe margins. You'll see here, it kind of creates this little safe barrier border, whatever you want to call it. And this kind of goes back to the broadcast world when you're working with titles and different lower thirds and things like that. These are just boundary boxes saying as long as you're inside these lines, specifically this main earliest one, whatever you put on there will be safe. Because sometimes back in the day when things were extended too far to the left, depending on where it was being aired, they might have a different thing that would cut off maybe some of this or cut off some of the bottom so you'd lose some of the text and or graphics. So they're just saying this is kind of the safe area as long as you're within these lines. And I don't use these because sometimes I maybe would want to move the line a little bit further in or a little bit further out depending on what the situation is. And with these, they can't be moved. But what you can do is come down here where you have the ruler button. You're going to see rulers going to be placed on the left side and the top side. And you notice the icon changes when it hits the ruler. You can see it has like a little handle to be able to pull. You come here and you can grab this and you can pull a little guide down. So you can match up here if you want and try to match it. But it still might not be perfect and this might take a while. And then you grab another one from the side. But the beauty about doing it this way is you can customize it. If you want to be a little tighter, you can do that. Now let's just say you have one. You can move them around after you've placed them. But let's just say you want to delete them and just clear them all away. Come back up here to the window to the top left. You come down, you're going to see a little section for the rulers and guides. So obviously show rulers and show guides are, are checked because as you know, we click them with the icons with the shortcuts. We can come down and say clear guides. So we're going to clear all the guides. But what you can do is because the guides we have activated, we can come up here, do view, come down to guide templates, click safe margins because that's what the little white boxes are. And once we click that, you're going to see it automatically is going to place them in exactly the same places. So you can see that's done exactly the way you want. And let's just say you don't want to make the mistake of accidentally moving them like we did before. You can lock this. So whatever guides, if you wanted to add more, you can then lock it. But I want to lock this exactly where it is. So come back up to view. Come where it says lock guides. Once you click lock, you come over here and you're not able to move them. So if you're adding text, you won't be able to accidentally move them. So then it's off by the tiniest bit. So now we have that in place. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn off the safe margins because I don't need them because I have the guides. What I'm going to do is come down here to the last thing we added and click snap in program monitor. So this is really helpful when you're working with multiple different text and or shapes. So let's come down here and let's just say we want to do some shapes. So instead of the pen tool, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to come in. Now we have this kind of cool gray rectangle for whatever reason. And we can come up here. You can see it happens. You see this little red line. It snaps to or if we come over in the middle. So now it's snapping in place left to right. So now we're saying it's dead centered. We go up a little bit. So now that's saying it's exactly in the middle of the entire screen. If you want to move it up here and say we want to attach it to these little safe margins. So now we know it's exactly perfectly in that corner. And this is helpful. Say we want to do another one and we want it to match up this line, but over here. Once you lock it in place, so it snaps into this line. So even if it's much further down, you know it is exactly there. It's identical to that line. And or if you want to move it over here and put it in this corner, it'll snap into place there. This is very helpful when you're also doing texts. So say you have a bunch of different text titles and you want everything to line up in the exact same location. And say it's a documentary where you have multiple people throughout the show, you want to put this exact same, say a lower third text right here. You want to know that it's exactly lined up every single frame correctly every single time. Now, one thing to note is if you export your project, these lines will not show up even if they're left on. So you can turn them off, they disappear, turn the ruler off and then unsnap, you're good to go. So now if I move this, you can see there's no snapping in place. So that snap in place feature really helps and so do the guides. I'm gonna turn the guides back on and like I said, if I wanna clear that away so I don't have those anymore, come up to the view, unlock the guides and then I'm gonna clear the guides. And say you wanna create a guide, not necessarily with the safe margin specifically, but let's just say you want a regular guide for whatever reason. Let's just say you have one line here and you have a bunch of different graphics you want to line up across the bottom. Snap back on. So now I know it's exactly lined up there. 
and then you can do different shapes, whatever thing you want to do, and then you know there's exact perfect line underneath, and then turn it off, and then you know they're lined up perfectly. Anyway, that is the basic of safe margins, the ruler and, and guides. They're very helpful, like I said, when you're trying to line things up visually to be on a specific line or order. Anyway, I hope that helped, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.